Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new Android M preview build using the fast boot method. Now Google just announced the upcoming version of Android at I.O. And within a couple of hours, a preview build of Android M was made available for Nexus devices. For now, this is only available for the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and Nexus Player. But really, that's all of the current generation Nexus devices and then some. But before we get started, if you're a Windows user, I've already covered a different method to install the new Android M preview build that should be a little easier than this one. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a little pop-up or annotation on top of the video right now that will take you to that guide instead. But for Linux and Mac users, Fastboot is the way to go. It's a little more complicated than the Nexus Root Toolkit, but it's really not that hard at all. As a heads up, you don't need to be rooted to install this new version of Android, but if you do, you should be aware that you will lose root and all of your data. When you're ready to begin, there's a bit of prep work that you'll need to do on your Nexus. Nexus 6 users will have to enable developer options by tapping the build number entry under About Phone seven times in rapid succession. After that, make sure to tick the box next to Enable OEM Unlock in the Developer Options menu, but again, this only pertains to Nexus 6 users. Next up, you'll need to put your phone into bootloader mode. From a powered off state, press and hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously. When the bootloader menu comes up, you're good to go. At this point, just connect your phone to your computer with a USB data cable. From here out, the rest of the work will be done on the computer side of the connection. So let's head over there. Okay, so I'm obviously using a Windows machine here, so the install process will be a little different from what you're seeing depending on your operating system. But the first step over here is to download the Android SDK. I have a link that you can use for all platforms over at the full tutorial on GadgetX, so head over there to get started. Now for Windows, I actually had to install the SDK, but for Linux and Mac, all you have to do is extract the zip into a folder you can access easily. But make note of the folder where you've stored all of the SDK files, because that's where you'll need to put the Android M factory image files later. Beyond that, you'll also have to install the fastboot drivers on your system. There are different install methods for these, and you can find them all over at the full tutorial. So once you have the fastboot drivers installed and the Android SDK extracted, it's time to download the preview build of Android M. These can be found at developer.android.com slash preview, and all you have to do here is scroll down a bit, then click the link next to the entry for your device. That'll take a few minutes to download, so let me skip ahead to when it's finished. Okay, so when the Android M preview build is finished downloading, go ahead and extract the contents of the archive. Once you've done that, you'll see another archive. Extract this one as well. Next, open the folder you just extracted, then extract the one remaining archive that you'll find. After that, go ahead and copy all of the files that are in here. From here, head to the Android SDK folder, then open the Platform Tools folder inside of it. Next, just paste the factory images into this folder and you're just about ready to install Android M. Again, this next part will vary depending on your operating system, but you want to open a command prompt window in this folder. So for some folks, that may require that you open a generic command prompt or terminal window, then change directories until you're in the Platform Tools folder inside the Android SDK. But when you have a command prompt window open, go ahead and type fastboot space devices, then hit enter to verify that your phone or tablet is properly connected. If it spits out a series of letters and numbers, you're good to go. Next, if you haven't flashed any factory images before, you'll need to unlock your bootloader. So type fastboot space OEM space unlock, then hit enter, and at this point you'll see a message on your phone asking if you're sure you want to unlock your bootloader. To confirm that, press the volume up button on your phone or tablet, then your bootloader should be unlocked almost immediately. Once it finishes with that process, your Android device will boot into recovery mode and automatically perform a factory reset. Just sit back and wait about a minute, then it'll boot back into bootloader mode automatically. So when that's done, you're ready to install the factory images. Type flash hyphen all and hit enter to get things going. It'll take a few minutes to install the new firmware, maybe even as long as 10 minutes. But when it's done, your phone should automatically reboot. At that point, it's safe to disconnect the USB cable and try out Android M. Some of the key features of this new release include automatic app backup, a granular permission control interface, as well as a new mobile payment system. But if you'd like to do all of this at your own pace, be sure to check out my full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.